Some students undergoing biometric identification at some of the centers scheduled to hold a joint admissions and matriculation board mop-up unified tertiary matriculation examination in Lagos. These candidates include those who could not participate in the recently held examinations in June and July 2022 owing to some genuine complaints. The Registrar of the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board is in Lagos to see things for himself. In Lagos where you have 69 centers and then you want to conduct, why it not for those who are involved in examination my practice, we will probably have used just one center in Lagos to remedy what was uh, the biometric issues. So the fact that we are bending backwards to try and accommodate those who might have had one problem or the other. It's not an indication of failure. It's an indication of strength. It's an indication of the fact that we are aware that we are going to be accountable to God. Over 42,000 students are writing the mop-up tests across five states, which Jan says is costing a huge amount of money to rerun. Professor Oloyede is also of the opinion that government and ASU must reach a compromise so students can return to school. I appeal to ASU, I appeal to government, please solve the problem so that our children can go back to school. Even if ASU goes back to the classroom, that will not prevent it happening tomorrow. I believe that what we should do is to look at the system and take some very hard decisions. If we do not take hard decision, we are postponing the evil day. The examination body says that candidates in centers linked to acts of malpractices are not allowed to be part of this mop-up examination.